I wanted to build a track because I came to a point in my life where I was training on the same tracks every winter and I didn't really have exactly what I wanted to train properly and to test the bikes and I wanted to have what I had in mind of what downhill was and what I think a downhill track is. I don't know how but things started to align with a project I wanted to do for a long time with Nico. So I decided to build a track in pure riding because the mountain is really good. It's one of the longest, I think, we can shut alone at the moment, in winter especially. The people here were super happy every time I've been there. They were nice to me and they were passionate. So I was like, okay, we have to make it happen there. And it's close to France, close to Girona. Like it's pretty much always sunny. So I was like, for winter, people testing, training, this is the place. I think with Laura and Jordi's passion, dedication, plus Leo's commitment to buy the mountain, to make their own bike park and owning it was, uh, was really good and I'm super happy to work with people like that because they make places for people to go and have fun and they put their life into it pretty much. So it's really, really cool to have that and to have these people involved. They were really happy to help the crew of Nico and yeah, it's, uh, it's teamwork. For designing a trek like this, I hike the mountain like multiple days. I check out what's possible, then I go home, sleep on it, come back the next day, and I just piece by piece analyze the mountain. I walk a lot in traversing the mountain to see what's possible. Because for me, when I'm building tracks or trails, it's super important to have like a, a flow to it, you know, without any dead spots or pedaling. So that's uh, the most important. Then we need to apply all the ingredients Bruni was asking for. Then we also need to check with timeline, etc., and budget. I wanted the guys to build a track that was really high speed, technical, with a lot of line options that would get really rough, big jumps, everything that makes you feel the limits of the bike, kind of, because it's really hard to find tracks like that outside of racing. Yeah, I just wanted something safe to, to be able to push on without playing with your life with stumps and trees and everything, possibly catching your face or whatever. We've been working with a, a 10 guy crew, more or less. Um, we had the locals, Jordi and Lara, Pau, Yoshu, other Pau, Aitor. Then we had our crew, Christoph, Marcin, Red Belge, Zeno, Eloise, and myself. I was super sick to, to work with the local guys here. They know the mountain, they, like, their energy is high. Like, they're super stoked, they're making jokes, or. Yeah, they're working super hard as well, so yeah, we had a lot of laughs and like we were all working together as a team and 
That was good fun. Nico for sure was my first choice. To me he's the best builder in the world because I know him, I'm a big fan of him, I follow what he does and I always I'm impressed. He's one of my earliest idols from the sport. When I was just super young, I met him at the Mega Avalanche in France and he was like for a while my example. I wanted to be like him, he was super nice to me. We were sharing the, the same apartment with his family. And Luik at the time was like between 9 and 11 something, I think. One of the days after practice day at the race, he ended up taking me for a ride. And he was riding a hardtail. And, and what's crazy is like that picture kind of never left my mind. Like as a kid, he already had like an insane ability to ride bikes. Like those few laps we did, the, the position on his bike, how solid he was riding and how he was like shredding that hardtail bike at the time. Nothing fancy, but he was just like riding fast, hitting all the drops and, and like that, that, that picture never left my mind. But then suddenly, 10 years down the line, like Louis Bruni is like one of the, the sickest downhill racers of all times and um, it's cool to, to have that experience of riding with him as a little kid and then growing up and and seeing him like grow into one of the, the fastest guys on the planet. My life happened, his life happened. He became one of the best trail builders in the world and I was like, Nico, we have to make something together because I love what you do. We're good friends, we have a little bit the same vision of mountain biking. Because we, we share the same vision and the same style, I would say, I was like, we will do something that is not present at the moment in Europe. And even though what he built the last few years is more like big jumps, flowy things, cool combos and stuff like that, I knew he could make a proper technical and more downhill racing oriented. The track is still fun, like we kept it with a lot of fun features and stuff, but I knew he was the man to do the job. And when I saw him work, when I saw like the team dedication, I was like, okay, I'm super happy they did it because it's something like it's my first one, let's say. The first time is always special, you know? So <laughs> I had to, to take Nico for, the, <laughs> for this. With this build, the hardest difficulty is, or the woods in general here, are super dense. So building a line through this, that's wide and open, we ended up having to remove quite some tree stumps and, and rocks and things. And uh, the crew's been working like super hard to, uh, to get it done because like yeah, the, the tree stump is like three to four hours each, some big ones, other ones two hours, an hour and with not having machine access to all areas on the mountain because it's so steep, we ended up um, having to do a lot of handwork. And so the first two weeks was mostly handwork, then we got in the excavator for the open sections on the road, the rhythm sections, and I tried to get as much done as possible by excavator, but some zones we just couldn't access.
when I first saw the track, I was mind blown because I know the mountain. I know how hard it is to build something wide. And, and the guys sent me videos of them like ripping massive stumps with like 10 logs on it. I don't know, it was crazy. And the way the track was looking, I could see there was going to be a lot of boom, like hits, jumps and exactly what I wanted. So when I saw how clean it looked, and the uh, layout kind of, I was like, oh my God. And then Nico showed me some of his magical jumps he did with some like three options on one section because there's like, you can go there, 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 there. There were so many cool things. I was like, oh my God, I don't even know where to go. Like it was, it was like a proper, not a track walk, but I was already trying to figure out where I was going to go. And it was like looking exactly what I, how I expected it to look. There was no, no bad surprises. There was good surprises, but I I don't want to say that to Nico, but I had a lot of expectations from him, you know, because I know how good he is. So I didn't want to put so much pressure, but I was like, it's going to look amazing, you know. Wow. Then I, when I saw it, I was like, okay, it looks so fucking dope. Another thing I really like about what Luik is doing with the project is like he's partly funding the track out of his own pocket. And it's just cool to see that he wants the track to be open to the public. One of his priorities was for the track to be in a public bike park. Another thing he also asked me is like to not build like super um, sketchy or gnarly features. Everything needs to be rideable for all levels. So it's cool to see that he's like, yeah, just providing more riding facilities for upcoming riders to enjoy other teams who can come and test and it's just cool to see more yeah, places that are good for um, yeah, riding so yeah really cool riding for the first time was all time because the crew so the builders they were exhausted and then when they were at the start they were like oh fuck okay it's happening it's now they're gonna try it and i think it was cool to do the first runs together because of how much work they put in. And when we started, I don't know, there was so much going on because it was actually super hard and fast from the first run. And so much was happening. The track was amazing. It was super sick. Like Nico was going there, I was going there. And then Martin was going there. It was like, wow, wow, wow. And we got to the bottom, we're like, what the Woo! fuck? It was actually like an insane first run. Oh, sick. <laughs> Sick, no? Yo, <laughs> c'est trop bon. I love it, eh? Yo, super sick. Yo, Louis! <laughs> I remember every run we were at the bottom, and I was like, this is why I love riding so much because you can take a mountain with nothing on it and make like the craziest <laughs> lines and when you have the best ones building it, it was like, oh, oh my God, like I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is insane. <laughs> and the jumps were working, everything, the dirt was good, the turns were like, like everything that you dream of to be honest. So when we were at the bottom, we just looked at each other and we're like, stoked for Honestly, it made it didn't make my day, it made my year.